I was 10 years at Sony Music Entertainment. I had top positions in the music industry, obviously a top position at Disney where I was executive vice president of the company uh, uh, in Europe. I think the first time I came to MIP or MIPCOM was when I started working with Disney in 1988. So it's almost 30 years. When I came for the first time uh, for Cyber Group Studios in 2005, and I think we were three of us coming, we spent two days, literally, or three days, taking flyers everywhere to try to understand. And in the evening, on the carpet of the apartment, so we are renting an apartment, we're like four of us, three of us in an apartment, we are putting all the flyers down, we're opening all the magazines, at all pages, and trying to understand what was happening on the scene. If you do a timeline, the most important thing is to take your time and to not go to the next step until you've achieved the first one. And this is easy to say, it is very difficult to do because you plan for things and sometimes they don't happen, or most of the time they don't happen. You know, people used to say, you do a business plan and business plans are made for not to being respected. It's very important to have your own objectives. My objective was to understand the market, do a name for ourselves in what we knew we could do best, which was preschool, move them to CGI, move to the kids' space, and also, un uh, also understand the world needs. This is why we created our own distribution organization. Um, I think it's very important to be close to your clients. And it's very important to, especially when you're a producer, I, I think it's better, you know, I mean, money doesn't fall from the skies. It's very difficult to finance shows. It's more and more expensive. I mean, uh, from a preschool show to Zorro, it is like five times multiple. And uh, I'm, you know, I'm, producer always freaks out looking for money. So if you're selling your own shows, at least your future is in your hands. And I've always wanted to have uh, a control or at least try to control our future so that we could go further. But one of the reasons why we've been successful is uh, I have been able to uh, have an incredible talented team around me and always try to, uh, it, it's not about myself, it's about a team. And so a lot of people say that and don't mean it, but when you look at the people that work at Cyber Group Studios, they come from different horizons, they have incredible experience, some are very young and they've learned with us, some have even left us and created their own company, which is today very successful. Doing a show like Zora is a big responsibility. Uh, you don't go out and say, oh, please, I'd like to make a show of Zorro and go sell it. First of all, you have to understand Zorro. We did six months of research before we even touched anything, both on the backgrounds, both on the stories, and then we understood why Zorro was the ancestor of the superhero. You know, Zorro is really a testimony to the building of California. In the previous Zoros, there's no role of women. They were very instrumental. This is why, you know, I wanted to bring up the role of women. I wanted both boys, girls, and families to be involved. And today, you just cannot write Zorro the way it's been written in the past. It's inescapable. It's unavoidable. It's a huge event. This is where people meet, not only to sell, but to understand what's happening on the content scene to see the new technologies. There's no way that you can, it's not a question of escaping. I mean, you want to be in this industry, you come. For me, MIPS World is world's entertainment in one single place.